Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. This is Tiffany with the Speak Up and Inspire series. Um, I am really excited to interview this evening Cedric, or Enough Said, the ultimate host. Um, he is an amazing man. He is a comedian. He is also an advocate in the community, an entrepreneur, and so many other things. Um, we are going to be talking to him tonight here on the Speak Up and Inspire series. And I hope that you will get comfortable to join us because not only is he inspirational, but he's funny too. We've had some great great interviews this uh, month. We have been interviewing inspirational men in our community. And Mr. Nuff said is definitely inspirational. He is an entrepreneur. He is a professional and he's the ultimate host. He is the comedian that you want to see here in Charlotte, North Carolina and beyond. He is doing great things. And I hope that you will take the time tonight to get to know him. Um, it looks like I am really dark, so let me see if I can adjust the brightness. There we go. All right, so that looks a little bit better, even though now I look yellow. So again, this is Tiffany. We are here for the Speak Up and Inspire series. Tonight, we are going to be talking to Nuff Said, the ultimate host. Um, we're going to talk to him about what he does in the community, um, how he inspires the community, how he gives back to the community, and then talk about who he is, what he does, and how he is able to inspire others through his comedy. Um, Mr. Nuff Said, I see, is on and watching right now. But before we jump right into it, I just want to give you some announcements. Um, right now, Vibes Over Everything is offering a 25% discount for your back-to-school needs. So make sure you go to VibesOverEverything.com, put in B. To S to get 25% off your shopping cart. It is my clothing line as long as as well as my family's clothing line. We have some great designs out there for men, women, and children. And almost every item on our website you can get in youth size. The twins have also been very inspirational in some of the, desi the designs that we have done. So make sure that you go over to Vibes Over Everything for 25% off um, your back to school shopping needs. Not only for your kids, but for you too. We are spreading positive vibes through our clothing. So make sure that you join us at Vibes Over Everything. Put in B2S to get 25% off your attire to get ready to go back to school. So that is one announcement. The other announcement is that I am going to be relaunching my book, Reality Check, and it's going to be the uncut version. So when I first wrote Reality Check, it was pretty mm, spicy. Um, it had some very nice scenes in it that I cut out um, of my first published version of the reality check. But I decided to go back to the original manuscript and publish that as an uncut version. So if you have already read reality check, you are going to see some um, uh, scenes that were cut out of the first published edition. If you have not read Reality Check, then you are in for a steamy read. Now, it is about surviving sexual assault, but it also has other characters in the book who are um, living their best life or trying to live their best life. Um, and they are reinventing themselves. And so it's all about being a survivor. It's about love. It's about relationships. It's about friendships. Um, it's about finding yourself and getting to know yourself. So this was the first published cover. But I am going to be relaunching my book as the uncut version. So that means that it will go from being PG-13 to PG-R. <laughs> but it's only for adults. So even though my kid, one of my um, my kids or one of the twins has read Reality, Reality Check and some teenagers um, and a couple of kids that I know um, at the different organizations that I've gone to have read my book, I won't be giving this to anybody under 18. No. So the uncut version. If you have not read the first published um, edition, 
you definitely want to read the uncut version. It will be relaunching soon, and I will keep you updated about that. Also, this month, we have been um, interviewing inspirational men, and our interview tonight is the last of the series for the month for interviewing inspirational men, but we are bringing it back. I have been meeting so many inspirational men this month as I'm interviewing um, men like Mr. Nuff said tonight, Cedric Sanders that we um, we interviewed earlier in the in the month. Also, Jonathan Coleman, we interviewed him as well, and Andrew Thor Angelico. He's a musician who is an advocate for mental health awareness. So we are going to be bringing back a month full of inspirational men soon, hopefully in October or November. So please watch out for that. If you are an inspirational man doing great things in the community, please reach out to me at our Facebook page. Speak up an Inspire series, send me a message and say, hey, I want to be interviewed too because I'm doing great things in the community. I would love to meet you and I would love to interview you and hopefully October or November. Next month, we are going to be interviewing great teachers, inspirational teachers that are getting ready to go back to school and motivate their kids in a new school year. We are going to be talking to, um, on the 12th, we are going to be talking to Raven Herndon. And she is from Syracuse, New York. I'm not sure where she's living at now, but I'll get you more information. Um, we're also going to be interviewing my very, very, very good friend and talented Mr. Del Von Harling. We're going to be interviewing him on the 19th of August. And then we are also going to be interviewing Miss Catherine Few on the 26th, who is living now in Richmond, Virginia. So please make sure that you tune in next month as we interview inspirational teachers making a difference in the community. So we have Mr. Nuff said, who is watching right now, we are going to bring him on so that we can interview him and learn about what he is doing in the community, find out more about him, um, and just get to, to learn this uh, funny guy, why they call him the ultimate host. So we will be bringing him on very, very, very soon. It looks like they are trying to add him right now. So while we are waiting for him to come on, I would love for you to give me your input and go in right now and to your Facebook, add him. Nuff said, make sure that you add him. Nuff said, the ultimate host. Make sure that you like his Facebook page. Find him on Facebook. He also has um, personal pages. Add him, Nuff said, the ultimate host. He has a Facebook business page as well. Make sure you go in and check him out. We hope to go tomorrow, um, do some comedy, and also get us some crab legs tomorrow night. So we're going to learn about that. No, that's <laughs> so, right. Legs. I can't wait for tomorrow night. <laughs> so please, please make sure you check him out. Hey, what's up? What's good, family? How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm looking yellow today for some reason. I don't know if it's the <laughs> light or what. <laughs> yeah, y'all got them LED lights in your house. I got regular <laughs> light bulbs and they all them. <laughs> 70 watts. Saving, saving some electricity. <laughs> yes, awesome. Now, I know I'm going to jump right in there with you because I know that you have um, an event to go to. So we're just going to jump right in it. Um, first off, tell us, and I'm walking around because I'm trying to get out of the yellow light and not be so, I don't know what's going on. My melanin is not popping right now. Uh, get your melon popping, sweetie. Get your melon popping. <laughs> All right. So, Mr. Said, I know you have um, a lot going on in the community. Um, I want you to tell us, what is it that you do? What is it that you do? What is your professional career? Well, I am an entertainer. So, but that by, by any means necessary to entertain, that's pretty much what I do on a comedic level. Uh, but I also have a serious side, too. You know, a lot of people see the comedy, but they don't get to see the serious side. Uh, mm -hmm. But it does exist. But other than that, I just <laughs> I just enjoy making people laugh until it poop. That's what I pay for. I charge people for it. I don't offer refunds, so that's pretty much what I was do. <laughs> you said you make people laugh until they what? <laughs> until they poop. Yeah, laugh until you poop. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, so hey, while we're I'm going to take you out for a walk, too. Okay, Go ahead, I'm listening. sounds good. <laughs> Go ahead, I'm listening. What's your next so, question? 
Yes, tell us, why do they call you the ultimate host? You know, we have the host, then we have the comedian. Why do they call you the ultimate host? Oh, well, you know, I guess, I don't know, I guess um, I actually call myself that. I title myself, enough said the ultimate host. And the reason I did it is because, for one, I um, I knew I was interested in comedy. But I saw guys like um, Boris Rogers, who's uh, Mr., uh, Mr. NASCAR, the Emmy mm-hmm. Award winning blues, Boris Rogers. So when I saw him hosting and I saw JC of Touch One Productions hosting for the first time, and this is back, mind you, oh God, about 20 something years ago now. And uh, uh-huh. when I first saw them in the game with the spoken word, I was thinking, wow, I could do that. And then I mm-hmm. saw them get paid for hosting. I was like, oh my God, I know I can do that. <laughs> and so that's pretty much what, what started. But for me, I didn't want to just be a host. I wanted to be the ultimate host. So one of the things that make me the ultimate host is the, my uh, spontaneous ability to take words and, and create situations, scenarios, or, or create ambiance, so to speak. So that's what I use. And fusing that with the comedy, that's enough said the ultimate host. So if you got that program you're running and things aren't running on schedule, you got uh, the girls aren't ready to come out for a fashion show. I can I can put that stall tactic in to where it doesn't look like we're, we're dropping the ball. It doesn't look like there are laps or, or gaps within the show. That's my specialty. Okay. Now, for some, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. Okay, because for some reason, I cannot hear you. So let me go. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Get... So I did all that talking. You couldn't hear nothing I was saying. <laughs> No, it was because it looks like a call was trying to come in, and so it, it cut you out for me. Um, so let well, me can find the people my hear me? Can y'all hear me in now? Headphones. So tell us about your event. Tell us about what events you have coming up, and what is it that you were doing on Tuesday nights? Because we're looking oh, forward man. to coming out tomorrow night. I am so glad you asked. See, Tuesday we have crack, cracking crab legs and karaoke. Tuesdays is dope because it's a fantasy lounge. Fantasy lounge is formerly known as Taste Lounge. It's located right on Wilkerson Boulevard and um, Moorhead, right on the corner. Really nice patio. And it's newly remodeled, newly renovated. So now I got that ATL swag to it. We always compare things from Charlotte to ATL for good reason. But it does. It has has the indigo lights in it now with the white leather sofas. They remodeled this place. We've been closed for two weeks. So I'm so excited to get back inside. DJ Storm. The illest DJ on the side of the Mason Dixon, honey. I promise you, we're going to make you shake a tail feather. We got a pound of crab legs with corn of potatoes for only $16. Lord have mercy. It's so good to have your tongue slapping your brain. You hear me? Man, it's absolutely free from 10 to 2 p.m. every Tuesday. So I look forward to seeing you on Tuesday. Yes, definitely. And tell us where it is. It's going to be a fantasy lounge. Now, don't ask me the address. I'm going to post it tonight on my page because I don't know. Okay. But it's formerly okay. Taste Lounge, and it is on a corner of Wilkinson Boulevard and Moorhead. Now, you got to get there early because I'm telling okay. you, the place don't get packed, but the parking lot only holds 12 cars. So, you know, that's pretty much it. So after them 12 cars, it, you're going to be pretty much parking on top of each other down the road. All right? So make sure you get there early. But we have a good time. Or better yet, take an Uber. That way you can get drunk. If you drink oh, and just yeah. have yourself a good time, baby. Uber ain't up but sell dollars. You ain't got but sell dollars. You broke anyway. So you might as well go in and say your driver license. Take your Uber and come on down. Okay. I like it. I like it. You might, you might just have to do that. You might just have to do that. Um, okay. So great. So when you were talking about the Emmy Awards, how long ago, I mean, how long have you been starting to get I heard 20 years ago you had the Emmy Awards. But when did you actually start making well, I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you. You said, when did I actually start making Your money? Your sound is going in and out a little bit. I don't, I don't know if it's the head, the piece thing now. Let's try it. Say something again. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Girl, yeah, I can hear you. Sound like you sat down right here next to me. Go ahead. Okay, so, so what I asked was, when did you start making a name for yourself? I know that you had some information, I mean information, some inspiration about 20 years ago, and you named a couple mm-hmm. of people, like JC, who I know as well. When did you start making a name for yourself? When did people start? Well, I started out doing the Mr. Brown impersonations. That's what I did. Okay. When I, I had to get in there some kind of way. So I dress up okay. like Mr. Brown and I run in there 
<laughs> running the family reunions. I go on the kids' oh. parties looking like some big overgrown old pedophile until they heard me talk. That's okay. No, he's fine. Oh it did. I did. I look really, I look crazy. I look back on some of the pictures. I said, these people let me around their family. But right. now I am, now I'm able to just use my name. You know, it's a beautiful thing when you grind so hard, or you hustle so hard to where you don't need a recognition or you don't need, oh, that's not, we know who he is. So I thank God for that, man. And, and really my, my key to that has just been treating people the way I want to be treated. I love people the way that I feel that I want to be loved. And above all, man, just, just it, it's, it's all about respect. The Bible said in order to obtain friends, you just show yourself friendly. I just like showing myself friendly so it happens. That's it. Right. Right. Well, I'm in a comfortable spot now, so I can actually sit down and talk to you. Yeah, okay. me too. <laughs> good, good. Now, tell us what else. What else? Where else can we find you? What else are you doing as far as your comedy is concerned and your hosting? Or do, is there any other places that we see we can see you on a weekly basis or monthly basis? Well, you know, right now I'm only on the weekly, the one day a week show on Tuesdays. I have other shows throughout the week, but I had to pull back. And the one thing that I found, I was talking to a really dope artist uh, uh, artist yesterday, a uh, day before yesterday. Her name is Nikki Canada. If you don't okay. know who she is, go Google her, search her. She's on Facebook, N-I-C-C-I Canada. Amazing jazz voice. I mean, she's like Ella Fitzgerald in our new day and age. Oh, she's amazing. That is that is no exaggeration whatsoever. Um, and no okay. embellishment. But she is, I was talking to her and uh, I was telling Nikki that, my, I enjoy doing comedy and the comedy clubs and stuff like that. But see, I'm a clean comedy specialist. I believe I can make you laugh without using profanity. I can make you laugh uh, without without having to insult you or without you being my muse, my the subject of my uh, of my of my of my comedy show. So I don't really okay. get off on stuff like that. I like creating uh, creating moments. I believe that you can go anywhere and have a good time. But when you come to a Nuff Said show or a show that Nuff Said is hosting, you're going to get an experience. Yeah. See, I can resell an experience, but you can't resell a good time. A good time is just a good time you had. But an experience, okay. that's that moment when you call your girl or every time you see somebody, you look at a picture and you say, oh, man, I'll never forget that. Now, see, that's what you want. And when I, when it comes to entertainment, that's the mark I want to leave on people. And that's the impression I want to give anyone trying to book me within their event. We want to take it to a memorable level to where no one will, one, feel like they were cheated or mm -hmm. manipulated, if you will, or even just pimped out of their money. So that's right. how I believe when it comes down to entertainment. Get the people what they want. Right. Yeah. Now we um, made sure that we put in our um, promo for you that you do clean comedy. And mm. I think that was things that piqued my interest when I first met you was yes. I, I don't think I've heard comedy without curse words. <laughs> and I, I hate to say that, but Everybody I don't around think... me cuss with comedy. My mama cuss when she watched comedy. My daddy cuss when he listened to comedy. Red Fox, <laughs> Dola Mike, Eddie Murphy, Martin. I got you. Right. I got you. But, right. but that's, I was raised the same way. I mean, Dola Mike is probably the most potty mouth comedian you'll ever hear uh, for yeah. those that know him. But I, I love Dola Mike. And that's kind of like one of the uh, first voices way down in the jungle deep that I've ever heard. Right. You know, when I heard mm -hmm. that Dola Mike, and it just really, I like the way he rhymed with it. He told stories. And there were funny stories. Mm -hmm. So I have that same ability. And I mean, I can cuss, but it's just that when it comes down to entertainment or being professional or doing my job professionally, I don't have to. I just, I believe that profanity oftentimes is a weak mind attempt at conversation. So I don't have to do that. Thank God for vocabulary. Thank God for my Mecklenburg County education. Shout out to Livingstone <laughs> College, the way I chose to further my education all for six months. Hey Amen. In a year, it's a shame. Right. Whatever. They kicked me out of there. I tell you, I, I'm still a blue belt. You do know I am the mascot for Livingstone College. I am the blue belt for class of 1993. I did not know that. Girl, you better tell somebody, show Lils. That's right. Woo! I wish I had my suit right now. I clear I march in it. I clear I would. Oh, Lord. I, I was wearing that suit one time. We was in Durham. And they beat us. But, you know, they, they central, North Carolina central, they are so mean. Them some rude people. They shot up our bus and everything. Just mean oh. people up there. I'm not, I ain't been back to Durham since. This messed my childhood up. So I went up there. Oh, I had a suit on. We were marching in the parade. You know, I was getting it too, girl. I was doing oh. it. I was doing it. I clearly was doing it. It got hot. I took the whole hood off. They said, oh, no. You ain't supposed to take your hood off. You the mascot. They don't supposed to see your face. You a lie. I ain't about to pass out in this thing trying to entertain these Negroes. I don't know. None of them. Ain't none of my cousin either. Hello. Please. Yeah. 
So you nah, have I'm, a passed out mascot. <laughs> hey, but when they start shooting at the bus, I put my hood on. I put it. I grabbed the tear everything. I was, yo, they had me stressed out like a research monkey. I ain't lying, but that was the crazy thing. <laughs> Yeah, it's in North Carolina Central. Anybody watching from North Carolina Central, all y'all thugs, I don't care what you say, and your school got roaches. I'm here to tell you. I said it, and I meant it, and I ain't taking it back. Amen. I let them know. I still feel some type of way about that. I ain't lying. They shot up my butt, and they won. Y'all won. What you shooting up us so far? I see you were traumatized. <laughs> what? I'm dead serious, man. And then the bus driver turned on the wrong street. Who is you with? You know? Oh, anyway, don't get me started now. That was so sad. Man. That was a sad day. Was a sad day. Really. I love it. I love it. Do you find that um, sometimes people underestimate how funny you are because you don't curse? Uh, you know, I think everybody has what they like. You know, so and that's the thing I tell a lot of a lot of artists. You know, don't worry about who says they with you, they like you, they feel you're funny, you're not funny. I don't worry about those things because here's something that I learned. I tell this to a lot of people. One, one in particular, my best friend, comedian Julio Hennessy. Now, Julio is my best friend, but we're totally opposite from each other. He uses a lot of swears, slanders, pers- my mama say that Julio got a nasty mouth. And then she tell him that, so he knows. But, but that's my thing. I always want to be able to entertain your mama, your grandmama, your cousin, your, whoever. And, but, but here's the thing. No matter what song you love, I mean, you can pick your most favorite song in the whole world. I don't care if it's Marvin Gaye, if it's Tamara Terrell. I don't care if, it, if, it's, if it's the Beastie Boys, whoever it is. Look on YouTube at their video, at their music, that song you love so much, and mm-hmm. you'll see so many dislikes. I'm talking like thousands of dislikes versus the 1800 likes and that's kind of how i live my life i was like yo somebody will like you if one person in this world gave you a buck you're a millionaire i mean or beyond and that's what that's really the concept of it you know so i don't worry about none of that stuff i just be me enjoy my life do what i do and uh thank god i've been for four years making an honest living from it Good, good, good. Um, and I think it's it's been about that since I met you. Um, so yes, I've seen you progress. I've seen you um, start doing your own thing. Um, yeah. I've seen you, um, your romantic side as a comedian and <laughs> as a, as a uh, you know, a man. I love and so I'm a lover. Yes, you I'm are a Capricorn. A lover. You Capricorn. Are a lover. <laughs> and I'm going to say it. You know, Sayers and Capricorns are lovers. That's just what we is. You married oh, to one, you know Lord. what it is. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody needs to say it in their life. Everybody do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess. <laughs> All right, so... What are the kind of what are you doing in the community? What do you do to give back to the community? Um, otherwise than your, your your comedy, which is inspirational and funny as it is, what else do you do in the community and what are you passionate about? You know, I have a lot of um I have a lot of things in the community that I get involved in and I don't really I guess a lot of them aren't noted. You know, some mm-hmm. I get friends that call me that have organizations um or or, or meetings or or groups or things within the community that they try to do, say, for instance, church outreach, uh, church outreaches. Um, mm-hmm. Yesterday was Sunday. We met at Mooney's Lounge for the 200 men, um, 200 men united. And we were 200 men of Charlotte, excuse me. We're getting together and we're trying to put together programs and things for young people to do outside of um, the norm, you know, things such as things that they're interested in. One of the things we came up with yesterday, JC and I uh, were talking and we came to a decision about helping young people get into the studio. A lot of our young people are into music. They want to be artists, but they have no idea, no idea about branding. They have no idea about the business side of it. So right. one thing we're going to start just really small is find a couple of kids that are interested in music, find out what they're listening to and find out what they're talking about. And uh, okay. with that, put them in partner with other studios. I know Crazy Figs was a really popular um producer one of my dope friends here in the city he had he said that he's willing to help out whatever we need to do with that so i want to do something like that with just you know getting a young person 
taking them to the studio, show them how the engineering aspect of the music works, show them how the financial mm -hmm. side of the music works, and just show them how even though you see these rappers on TV, there's a, there's a work ethic that comes with that. So that's one of the things we were trying to do just as of yesterday, like I said, as far as reaching the young people in the community. But aside from that, I'm really big with the, the homeless, or should I say the less fortunate neighbors, um, mm -hmm. on Fridays, we deliver Pearl Box. My mom cooks these soul food dinners. And uh, every week we have um, one, of my, one of my friends, Stephanie, she donates $10 to give to the homeless. And we generally feed the homeless as well. It may be just, I never take my camera with me, you know, stuff like that. I don't feel that you need to take your camera with you when you're giving or showing like that. It's just showing love like that. I really don't, you know, feel that. But aside from that, um, another way, another thing we have going on in the community, my man, a single save in the series, Chuck, this Labor Day um, coming up for Grid Town, we have an annual Grid Town Day. And okay. I've hosted this event probably for the past five years. I grew up in Grid Town or a product of the hood. So I get together with my friends, Clifton Bell, who's like a, the, like a, a billionaire, millionaire mind type dude. Uh, uh -huh. he, does, he shoots a lot of videos for, um, for you. What's the guy named... Um, yeah, well, the, a lot of rappers, I'm not even going to start name drop, but a lot of rappers, that's his thing. So we all okay. come together, the, the ones of us that, that came up out of the hood, we come together on Labor Day, we, we volunteer our time, giving back to our community, uh, bringing, making them aware of everything from health issues to mm -hmm. rezoning issues, which Greertown, a lot of our communities are going through right now, things of that nature. Uh, but that'll be this Labor Day. It's absolutely free. So I want everybody to come out too. But as far as getting the community, anything that's going on in the community that I'm able to be a part of, I try my best to, to get out and support that. And one other thing I want to say before we go forward uh, about community is Charlotte Day is coming up August 18th. Uh, my cousin, Will Adams, he's partnering. He and uh, No Limit Larry and a couple others um, are all, have all gotten together and they form United Neighborhoods of Charlotte. I support them 100%. I, I think it's a beautiful vision. They do the uh, guns down, uh, yeah, guns down, water guns up thing. And they, yep. it, it's, 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 it's beautiful to see brothers that's from Charlotte giving back and helping out in Charlotte. I haven't been to any of these water gun fights, but uh, again, I've seen and encountered them <laughs> at other events in the neighborhood, but I plan to get on one for the summers out. But August 18th uh, is going to be official Charlotte Day. And um, okay. No Limit, I know, is spearheading that in a large way. But it's going to be in Freedom Park. We're asking everyone to come out. Um, regardless of who you are, you don't have to necessarily be with the organization, per se. If you are a resident in Charlotte and you love Charlotte and you're tired of the violence and the crazy stuff that's going on in our city, we're asking that you yeah. simply come out to Freedom Park on August 18th. And there are going to be flyers circulating. I know Kevin Hayes, Miss MJ Footworks is going to be there. And several other dope friends, like I said, uh, Movers and Shakers, Sunshine Anderson is supposed to make an appearance through, Anthony Hamilton, Calvin Richardson, and several others um, said that they will come through. And I, if I'm not mistaken, even Fantasia, they're not going to be performing Forming, but they are going to be coming through um, for what they said to support uh, one way or the other. And we have all youth performance performances on that day, uh, for what I understand okay. as well. So, Awesome. Awesome. And who is hosting that on um, August 18th? Well, it's going to be United, United Neighborhoods of Charlotte Presents. And okay. uh, with that, everyone, the city of Charlotte is getting behind them. It's, it's such a dope movement. Everything those guys have going on right now is just super dope because, like I said, they're, they're helping these families. They're getting into the communities with these families. And I, I pray that my time avails when I'm able to do more with that. But I'm used, doing my part by letting people know, here's what we got going on. There is definitely a problem. Everybody's talking about a problem. Nobody's really being about the solution, if you know what I mean. Right. So, but that's going to be August 18th, United Neighborhoods of Charlotte. And you'll see flyers, I'm sure, circulating a lot more in the next upcoming weeks because there's so many people involved in it. It's not just one person, one crew, one entity. But it's like a family. Right. Yes. And I've, I um, have shared it on my page a couple of times and I'll continue to do that up until the point of the, um, of the event, because I think it's, it's a good thing. Um, mm -hmm. And the event that's number one, um, where the families can go and hang out. I always believe in um, promoting family events because the kids need to be active in the community as well. They need to know yeah. what's going on. And, um, they need to be able to go out and have fun without worrying about, getting shot or getting in a fight Absolutely. or something like that. Um, so they're definitely doing a, a great thing. I went to the um, Greer Heights um, event a couple of weeks ago um, and met oh, Brandon. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, so I went out there for that. So they are definitely doing great things. So I'm glad that you are back in that as well. And we will be um, sharing the the uh, the events, you know, throughout the week to make sure that people know about it just as well as you will do. And I know Brandon will Absolutely. do. Absolutely. That's what I love Brandon. Shout out to Brandon and Miss Judy. Again, yeah. they're, they're so dope. They're always in the community, they're always working, especially in Greertown. And he keeps me uh, in the loop with a lot of things that go on over there. So I really appreciate and love him too. And you know, that's that's what I'm talking about. Enough say the ultimate host. To In order for me to be the ultimate host, I got to have ultimate acts. And I call those ultimate acts in the form of dope friends. So it's like mm -hmm. I can come up and do my thing and I'm guaranteed to do that. But when I got dope friends that I'm about to bring up, I'm about to introduce or host for, man, that, mm -hmm. when they're able to just stand and do their thing in their own lane and uh, it's just, right. one hand wash the other hand, both hands wash the whole body all your life. That's how it's been. You know what I mean? <laughs> so we just keep yeah. each other clean, man. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, it is really, really nice to um, finally connect with you. I know that we've been trying to um, get with you for you to go to us to, to bingo so you can make all yeah. the, the things there. So hopefully oh, we'll be man. able to do that. Yo, ooh, let me tell you, you just reminded me, yeah. speaking, of, um, speaking of community stuff, one of the things I love to do is I go to White Oak Manor. White Oak Manor okay. is up in Rock Hill, South Carolina. I do a lot of work in Rock Hill, too, but uh, Rock Hill, South Carolina is... Um, is is like another home for me. I have a friend, my partner uh, of my dinner theater. I have a dinner theater called Picture Pages. It's an interactive okay. dinner theater. It allows, uh, we take book authors and we take their novels and I have a team of actors that illustrate these books. So we got, oh, wow. we got a couple projects coming up here um, in the next, next month or so from uh -huh. one offer to go to Pittsburgh. Um, I don't know when that's going to happen, but I'll keep you posted on that. But anyway, okay. well, I go to White Oak Manor and it's an assistant living center and we get to go in and I, I play old, old school music for the seniors. I sing with them. They love singing This Little Light of Mine. And uh, yeah. it's probably about 35 of them there. And I tell you the truth, they, and they, they, they get me jello, so I don't really complain too much at all. Uh -huh. But I love, <laughs> when I tell you I love seniors, I love my senior citizens. I just think, I think the world of them, I think just the fact that they're here, the fact that they're in a, a, a day and age of so much technology. Can you imagine being a senior in this day and age with face recognition and all this? Mm -hmm. it's, I mean, all, it's everything from the, 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 the cars that drive themselves. Who would have thunk yeah. it, you know, so... But yeah, shout out to White Oak Manor, to my seniors up there, and, to, and Boot Gardens too, to my senior citizens over at Boot Gardens. I love y'all. Uncle Root, I'm coming to see you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, yeah, we definitely would love to get you um, to Pineville Rehab for our, our bingo night there. I'll make sure that Cedric reach out, reaches out to you to get you those yeah. things so we can get you out there. They would love you. They love when we come because we, we bring a kind of a flavor there that they don't have until we get there. I believe it. So. <laughs> I already know. Yeah. I already know. Yeah. So it will be a special treat to have you out there um, with us. Um, Absolutely. Is there anything else you would like to share with us tonight? Is there anything, um, so any shout outs you want to do or any organizations you want to tell yeah. us about that are dear the, to you? We have a stage play coming up in October, October the 19th, I believe it is. Mm -hmm. And that play is entitled That Church Life by uh, Teresa B. Howe. It's going to be okay. super dope. We've toured uh, all over the East Coast thus far. I think we got some, I think she said Boston dates or something else coming up, but I'll keep you guys posted on that. But the big news y'all need to know is Charlotte is coming in October. And it'll be okay. at the Creek. Shout out to uh, the Creek Pastor uh, Kenneth Robinson. I've been visiting there. I haven't been there about a month now, but that's the last church I've been attending and on a regular <laughs> <laughs> with my dope friends, the McGirts. I love them so much, Karen, Karen and um, and Darrell McGirt. I love them. But anyway, so that's that's pretty much what we have coming on as far as stage plays October. Um, I have I was just contacted today about an all white party. It's a networking event. A really okay. dope brother. Um, I don't really have more details because we ain't signed contract yet. But I'll definitely okay. give you, uh, when the contract's signed, I'll give you all the details of that. And that's going to be coming up in the next, I guess, next month or so. And I'll meet with them tomorrow to go over whatever they have. Uh, aside from that, I have a lot of uh, private functions. Um, Sinitra, hello to you if you're watching. I have their family <laughs> reunion and Concord at the Hilton this weekend. We're going to do a karaoke comedy show. For their okay. family reunion. Yeah, it's going to oh, be super wow. funny. 
uh, uh, DJ Noog of being there. Noog the DJ will be my DJ, and I have the Talk Back Band with me also, uh, which is my personal band, my two piece band, my man Teddy and Jeremy McQueen Ooh. on the kick. So we always okay. get down. Um, okay. And uh, I, I got some other. What'd you say, B? Uh, what's that? Oh, yeah. Um, thank you. I got my fiance, Miss BB, in the back shouting out to uh -huh. me. Let me know what I forget. What I'm forgetting. So, uh, <laughs> uh, Jazz Fest is coming up. And uh, Charlena okay. Robinson, shout out to her. We got Jazz Fest 2019. It's going to be in Sumter, South Carolina, right? Yeah, it's in Sumter, South Carolina. So, that's going to be stupid fun. I've been with that organization mm -hmm. for the past. I think four or five years too, I've hosted. And see, that's one thing I love about what I do. It's one thing to say, yeah, I hosted this, I hosted that, or I've been here, I've been there. The question always to me is, can I come back? You see, yeah. It, it, yeah. It, to bring me is one thing, but can I come back? And I thank God mm -hmm. for healthy relationships, for the strong relationships that I've established uh, with, uh, with a lot of my, my clients, you know, that I'm able to come back year after year. Uh, Shiloh right. Institution of Baptist Church, um, a lot of the churches, Weeping Willow, Amos I, the Rock Worship Center, um, Mount Sinai Baptist. I did Pastor Cook's retirement party there. So I just, I think, in uh, the uh, man, I can't even forget um, the Bible Way, New Covenant Bible Way. Shout out to the pastor over there, too, Pastor Beatty, my man. And he wants to get another comedy show. And that's the other thing I want to let you know. Speaking of clean comedy, we have, I have a model, I have a brand. And it's called Grown Folk, uh, excuse me, Grown Kids Comedy Cartel. Grown Kids Comedy Cartel is my organization. And that's the clean comedy organization. Shout out to Miss Maddie, um, who also makes the most amazing muffin cakes. Oh, my God. So she's a clean comedian <laughs> as well. Uh, comedian Big Win, a comedian Julio Hennessy, as I stated. Uh, he's also a partner. But we have Church Folk Ain't Laughing Enough. And it's a gospel stage, excuse me, a gospel comedy show. And that'll be coming back to the city here real soon. So you'll be posted about that. Uh-oh. Okay, so looks like we just got disconnected some kind of way. Um, and I that he has another commitment tonight. The last thing that I was just going to ask him to do was to chime in because um, Mr. Nuff said has gotten engaged to Ms. B, who we heard back in the background, and she is helping me tag different organizations um, and different uh, people that um, said has in, has mentioned throughout the podcast tonight. So thank you, Ms. B, for um, tuning in to your hubby and tagging people that he has mentioned. Um, we are, we're happy to always have uh, said with us, along with other inspirational men that are doing great things in the, in the community. Um, he mentioned a lot of different um, events that are coming up, especially Charlotte Day on August 18th. Um, I have been posting that on my page, but I will continue to post about Charlotte Day. Um, it's a good it's an awesome, awesome effort to bring together communities in Charlotte to stop the violence um, and just to have a good day with the family and spending time with your family, making new friends, um, joining more families together. So that's something that we will definitely um, be reposting daily as much as we can so that people will be aware of this event. So if you live in Charlotte, Please, please, please plan on attending Charlotte Day on August 18th. Um, my family will be attending the best we can. Um, I think we have a wedding that day, but we will go um, just to support what the um, <clears throat> excuse me United Neighborhoods of Charlotte is trying to do for the community. It's going to be a great event and said so that he's going to be a part of that as well. Um, great interview thank you so much said if you're still listening thank you so much for coming on with us and um, we hope that we will have you back on and hopefully we will be able to connect with you soon to get you out to pineville rehab so that you can bless the seniors there um, with your clean comedy your blessed comedy thank you so much for being an entrepreneur for being a businessman for giving back to the community um, thank you to all of those who listen tonight and and to support said as he is continuing to do great things in the community and also with his comedy 
Clean comedy is blessed comedy. That was the name of our podcast tonight. You don't always have to curse. You don't always have to talk about hoes and killing people and so forth and so on. You can have good comedy that is talking about positive things. And that is what said does for us as the ultimate host. So thank you for tuning in tonight. Next week, I am going to be off because I am going to my master's residency in Orlando, Florida. Um, I only have less than nine months left before I get my master's degree. Yay! This is my last residency in Orlando, Florida, so I am looking forward to that. Um, So next week, I will be off. So please tune in again on the Speak Up and Inspire series on August 12th as we do our month-long series talking to motivational teachers that are not only exceptional teachers, but are also giving back to to the community. We will be interviewing Raven Herndon. Delvon Harling and Catherine Few. So please, please, please tune in. Make sure that you friend Mr. Nuff said Cedric, the ultimate host. If you look up N-U-F-F-C-E-D, you will be able to find him. You will also be able to find his Facebook page. That way you can find out what it is that he's doing. And if you love crab legs and you love comedy, tomorrow night, the Fantasy Lounge Every Tuesday, come get your get you some crab legs, get you some drinks, listen to some great comedy, and have a good night with us tomorrow night on Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> um, I have tagged him several times so that you can find him. But also, if you put in N U F F C E D, you will find all of his pages. Please, please, please connect with him. Tuesday nights, come out to Fantasy Lounge so that you can meet him live and in person. And also make sure that you make it out to um, Charlotte Day, August 18th. Have a good night. Thank you.